Hey there, Deborah Donaldson here, and I just wanted to thank you for checking out my uh, video and my channel today. So on this channel, I discuss uh, affiliate offers, uh, pros and cons. I do affiliate offer reviews. I also go through different softwares and uh, give reviews on softwares and products that I've used. And I also provide some uh, information on mindset and uh, what it takes to succeed in affiliate marketing. And um, so in this video, what I wanted to talk about today was um, using the negative comments that people say or the haters out there using what they say to fuel your business. Now, um, I don't know about you, but when I first started out, I was getting um, some negative comments and it really kind of upset me. I didn't know quite how to take the information and, um, you know, nobody likes to be criticized for what they do. But um, as I have uh, kind of grown in my skills and learned um, from some of my mentors out there, what I'm learning is that I need to let those negative comments roll off my back and realize um, and kind of use those negative comments to fuel me as opposed to discourage me. So um, when you're first starting out and you're first starting to put out content, you most likely will not be recognized uh, by the search engines. I mean, unless you're already a well-known um, figure. So uh, for me, I'm not. So my first couple of videos, you know, who, I can't remember how many, but you know, I wasn't getting very many views, no comments. And in some ways that's almost a little more discouraging than getting negative comments. Let me explain that a little bit. If you're not getting any comments at all, then you know that your information basically isn't reaching anybody. So it's kind of like, man, I'm doing all this work and I'm, you know, no one's seeing my stuff. But the more, content that you put out, the more clear you get on your message and you, uh, I think the term is you find your voice. So you're getting really clear on what it is that you are saying and you're clear on your target market. And by being clear on your target market, what I mean by that is the people that you are marketing to who are in your target market, they're going to be attracted to you as you get better at being clear with what it is that you're saying. As you take a stand, the people that relate with you are going to be on your side and they're going to um, like the information and value that you put out. On the other hand, the people that are not in your target market, you're going to repel them. Um, and so those are the haters and the people that are not supportive. They are not your target market. So you need to just let what they say roll off your back, develop a thicker skin, uh, and move on. Don't let those negative comments serve as an excuse for you to uh, quit your business. I mean, if you want to quit your business, go ahead and quit your business. But don't let the negative comment that people are saying and use that as like, oh, somebody didn't like my video, I guess I'm gonna stop. So <clears throat> use what people are saying, fuel, know that because you're getting negative comments, your videos or your content is out there, it's being seen, uh, just keep taking the steps that you know you need to take for success and don't let the negative people kind of pull you back. One of my mentors um, said in uh, one of his videos that I was watching recently, he said, if you are not getting haters, you're not playing big enough. And in life, you just cannot get along with everyone. That's just a fact of life. You can't agree with everyone. And if you don't take a stand, 
people don't know, well, is this person someone I want to follow or not? I don't really know what their opinion is. And so you're not going to attract a following. And so you need to take a stand, be clear on your message, and um, <clears throat> provide value with what you're doing. Uh, if you are clear, you're going to attract the right people. And as you keep putting out content, you're going to keep attracting the right people. Now, this is just one of the things that I've learned from my mentor. And if you would like to um, learn more marketing skills kind of like this, then I'm going to put my favorite uh, training down in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and uh, click that notification bell so you get notified whenever I put out the next video. Thanks a lot.